Hey everyone, this is Live by the Code. As promised, I have a video here today talking about what's changed in the patch that was released on April 21st. Now, it was released only for the PC, but it is supposed to reach the Xbox and PS3 sometime soon. And they changed almost every single item in the game. So, I'm going to be talking about a few of the things they've changed, uh, some of the bigger things that I feel. Um, so, uh, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about today is what I feel is the most drastic change they made to Bad Company 2, and that is to the sniper rifles. So Solo just took a shot in the head with an M95 bullet and he did not die. I'll give you guys a, have a, look, have a look at my specs, I'm not using the ammo upgrade. So how can someone live through a headshot? I'll explain to you guys through my graph. Pause if you want to get a good look at it. It's damage per shot uh, plotted against distance to target. So you can see that this the damage goes down as you get farther away from the target. But what the funny thing is, is that all the sniper rifles now do the exact same damage. Now they did this for two reasons. The first is to stop uh, recons from running around in hardcore mode with uh, ACOX, ACOX scopes or uh, red dot sights one-shotting everyone. The second is to stop shots like this. Enemy infantry spotted. Long range body shot kill. So why can't an M95 headshot make a one hit kill? The answer seems to be a mistake when they are entering values into the game, because every single gun has a headshot bonus. The M95 has a way smaller bonus than the other sniper rifles. Double damage versus 3.5x damage. Um, so that is why if your opponents are using body armor, and you're not using the magnum ammo upgrade, you will not be able to make a long range headshot. If you are using the magnum ammo upgrade, your M95 would be doing just barely enough damage to make a uh, long range headshot kill. So you can see I have no problem getting a long range headshot kill with GOL even though I'm not using the Magnum Ammo upgrade. So the bottom line is after this patch there is absolutely no reason to use the M24 or M95 over the GOL unless you're trying to damage helicopter armor with the M95. So enough about sniper rifles, let's talk about the CG and let's take a look at what I said in an earlier video. Uh, I think if if something if something does change about the CG, it should definitely be the blast radius. So there you have it, the blast radius of the CG did get nerfed, and boy did it get nerfed big time. Uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. Ignore the fact that my diagram's so ugly. I just hope it gets the job done. I have two circles in the middle representing the lethal area. That's the area in which if you get hit by a CG, um, assuming the CG hits where the blue dot is. If you get hit in the lethal area, it's a one-hit kill guaranteed, uh, unless you're using body armor. So pre-patch, it was the size of the orange area, and now post-patch, post-R10, it's only the size of the red area. The radius of the lethal area has been reduced from 3 meters to 1.8 meters. Now, that's a huge, huge reduction, because that's actually a 64% reduction in the lethal area. Once you move out of the lethal area, the CG damage fades to zero, such that by the time you're at uh, 8 meters from the impact point, the damage will be zero. And a similar nerf got applied to the 40mm frag grenade, commonly called noob tube. So that the size of that lethal area is also, has also been reduced, although the nerf isn't as big as the nerf with the CG. And I have tried both out now, and now that the patch is out, and I have to say that it does feel a little bit more balanced. So tracer darts, look how fast this thing goes. I shoot it and almost hit solo immediately all the way across the map. So the projectile speed has been increased by a factor of 4. You can look at those numbers for comparison if you like. I'm gonna shoot another one. Almost instant. What this means is that it's gonna be much much easier to plant these things onto helicopters. Uh, so you can think of it as a nerf to helicopters. And yes, you can have more than one tracer dart planted out at once. And uh, I think uh, let's talk about the repair tool. It's a minor change, but basically what it means is that the speed of the repair tool has been increased. So what this means is that I'll be able to get my uh, repair tool kills uh, easier from now on, so that'll be interesting. The mortar cooldown has been increased to 60 seconds, up from 45 seconds, so uh, less frequent mortar spam. As a recon, you can also now carry three motion mines instead of two, which lets you do more things like this. Uh, attacking an MCOM station or something, or defending an MCOM station, throw a motion mine in there and give your whole team the advantage. So I've talked about most of the major changes I want to mention, uh, the rest are balancing issues to do with the guns. So for the assault class, the damage of the M16 has been slightly nerfed, 
most of the other ones, including the AN-94, the damage has been slightly increased, which is kind of odd because the AN-94 is a pretty strong gun to begin with, and some people were actually looking to get it nerfed with this update. And by the way, if you guys are wondering where's a good place to get uh, information about stats for these guns, I'd recommend you guys check out check out the link in my video description. Den Kirsten Zanga blog. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, apologize if I'm not. Uh, but anyways, SMGs. All SMGs have been slightly buffed. As for uh, LMGs, LMGs. This is interesting because LMGs are now less accurate when firing from the waist, but more accurate when you're aiming down the sights and firing. So the M60 has been slightly nerfed, as everyone was hoping. It's still a really good gun, though. I have used it uh, after the nerf. It still feels about the same to me. And all the other LMGs got slightly nerfed as well, except for the Type 88, which got slightly buffed. And as for pistols, the 45 Cal had its firing rate slightly reduced, whereas the M9, the M93R, and the Rex all received huge buffs to their damage, so they should actually be useful now. Buckshot, the long range damage of Buckshot has been doubled, so it should be a lot more useful now, and the close range damage has been slightly increased. And those are all the updates I'll be covering today in this video. Hopefully you guys didn't find it too boring. If you have questions, please post in the comments. I will reply. Other than that, uh, until next time, this is Live by the Code. I'll see you guys later.